hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm talking to us about the fact that men are the family's head and women are its backbone women are also referred to as the neck of the family or the neck of the man as a man is the head of the family it is said that the neck determines where the, the head turns to so a woman can determine the direction that the man is going or that the family is going at the point when individuals consider a man the top of the family, there is frequently this mix up thought that he is thoughtful, has a high self image, or believes he is higher priority than his better half, which is the woman. I'm not denying there's a lot of spouses out there that way. Yet, just clarifying that that is an unfairly considered thought. Of what it is to be the top of a family. A spouse praises and values his significant other, seeking her for help, information, solace, and support. His position doesn't make his life his position doesn't make his life partner less equivalent in pride or award him consent to have his family fear and be threatened by him. There is something engaging and alluring when you run over a person who realizes how to modestly assume responsibility, having initiative characteristics and putting them to utilize, not in a self-centered, savage way where he looks for what benefits him and will depreciate others. We catch wind of awful circumstances including harmful manliness, even inside families, and it's reasonable that a few men respond to this by dismissing and leaving any type of power and initiative. However, Rather than removing themselves from those duties, men ought to be significantly more affected to epitomize and set genuine instances of being truly manly. I've gotten, I've gotten condemned or addressed when I say ladies are intended to be the foundation of their family and men the head call me antiquated i wouldn't fret it shouldn't be viewed as older style yet the manner in which family should be organized at the point when my assertions get backfired explicitly by the individuals who were brought up in broken families with an impressive with an oppressive dad, battled with enslavement, deserted the family, or was absent, I can just say that I am so grieved. I'm sorry to the point that somebody who should be quite possibly the man, the main persuasive figure in their day-to-day -day existence, bomb them. Somebody who should be there and watch over them, disappointedly bombed his essential obligation as a defender and supplier to those who on him. We, as a whole, need caring figures in our lives. No matter, no mother can completely supplant the job of a dad and the other way around. For anybody raised by a single parent, I am not saying she isn't equipped for taking consideration and accommodating the family. Raising a family requires troublesome penances, penances she shouldn't face and make alone. A, mother, a mother's responsibility is to care for her youngsters, yet mothers additionally need somebody who still will adore and take care of them in a manner 
a kid or other relative can't. Brokenness and enthusiastic unsettling influence rises up out of fatherly non-attendance and non-challenge and without the assistance of a, of a mate a spouse needs a courteous fellow close by in any case how solid willed and free she is a woman needs a man and a man also needs a woman welcome please subscribe to my youtube channel and please share this video and watch other videos in this channel i love you and i give thumbs up to all women watching and coming along with the channel welcome again bye for now